Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of Intro to Swift. In this episode, I am going to show you guys what properties are in Swift. Uh, now, properties don't exist in Java, but they do exist in some other languages like C Sharp. So you might have seen something similar to this before, um, but perhaps not. And they're actually <clears throat> really nice uh you know, things to use. So to best demonstrate this, let's go ahead and write a circle class. The class will represent a circle and we'll just have the radius associated with it. And then we'll write a couple of functions that will do other things for us. So let's go ahead and write our class circle with a var radius, which is an int. We'll go ahead and have our initializer, which takes in the radius which is an int, and self.radius equals radius, so we initialize our radius. Um, and then let's go ahead and write a few things, and we're going to write it the way that you would, perhaps in Java. So uh, in Swift, we access radius directly. We can get and set it by using the name radius. We don't need getters and setters. But let's say we want to do um, a function called get diameter. Diameter is um, two times the radius. There's no need to store diameter as a variable because that doesn't really make sense. We can compute it um, using radius, but we can say that this function is an int and we can say return radius times two. So if we want to get the diameter, uh, you know, it would take in, it would uh, just multiply the radius by two. Not terribly useful, uh, but perhaps there's a reason why you would want that. Uh, then we'll also do a set diameter. Uh, so if you want to set the radius, you would access it directly. Uh, but in this case, we will allow it to be set like this. And then we'll say self.radius is equal to diameter divided by 2. So converting diameter back to radius. And finally, let's just do um, get circumference. And that will return radius times 2, or um, 2 times radius times 3.14, so, uh, or I'm sorry, that's uh, 2 pi radius, yeah, so 2 times uh, 3.14 times radius, and of course the order doesn't matter, but we'll just keep it in the order of the equation, so uh, 2 pi r, 2 times 3.14 times radius. Now, one thing that I forgot about for a second is since we're multiplying this um, by 3.14, which is a double, it has a decimal place, we actually want to make radius a double, which I suppose makes sense because you should be able to have a circle with a radius of one and a half. So we just have to change everywhere with an int to be a double, uh, and then that'll just make that problem go away. And I think it makes the most sense there. Uh, we also just want to make that 2.0 just so that we have everything matching. And why is this still not working? Let's see if we can reorganize that. No, that didn't work. Ah, it says radius is not found, so maybe I need to Qualify. Oh, I'm sorry. That must be it. I forgot to make it return a double. For some reason, that messed up the entire thing. But uh, yeah, it just I forgot to say that it returns a double, so it was getting confused as to why I was having it return something. But uh, that works fine. So let's go ahead and test this out. So we'll go ahead and say circle C is equal to... Let's make a circle with the radius of 1. Let's fix that. So circle with a radius of 1. And perhaps it doesn't want that. All right. So we'll make a circle that has, let's just say, radius of 4, uh, which it would be a diameter of 8. No, oh, I'm sorry. I'm writing it in Java format. So C is equal to circle. I was writing it like a Java program. Var C is equal to circle. Or let's just say let. So... I think we do need the radius, yep. So, sorry about that. We now have um, an instance of circle with a radius of 4. So let's go ahead and try this out. We can print out c.radius, 
Uh, we could also set it. We can say c dot radius is equal to um, maybe 10 instead of 4. And then let's try some of the other things. So let's print out um, c dot uh, get diameter. So let's see what the diameter is. Um, and then let's set the diameter to be um, 18. So that would be a radius of 9. Uh, and then finally, let's just see what the circumference is. And so we get all those things, radius of circle with a radius of 4. Uh, then the diameter, the radius, we set it to be 10, so the diameter is definitely 20. Uh, then we have a diameter of 18, um, which is radius of 9. And then the, uh, radi the circumference of that is 56.52, which I'm going to assume is correct. Now this works fine, uh, but the only thing is it really doesn't look very much like Swift because here we can just write c dot radius and that looks really nice. We just call everything by its name. But when I do get diameter and set diameter like that, it really doesn't look as nice as everything. You know, c dot radius equals ten versus c dot set diameter eighteen or whatever. It just it's not quite like Swift. So Let's Swiftify this code. We're going to turn these functions into properties. So a property in Swift is technically any value inside of a class, instance variables or fields. So radius is technically a property, but we already know about properties like those. We're going to look at computed properties, which are exactly what we're doing here with diameter and circumference. Now, uh, Diameter is, as it may make sense, it's a computed property. It's what it sounds like. You can compute diameter, um, and then you can also, you know, handle a new diameter. Uh, and let's go ahead and try this out. So we're going to go ahead and create diameter. Uh, when you're doing computed property, you need to specify the type, the return type. So in this case, diameter is going to return a double. And then we put Quotate, we put out, sorry, curly braces. And inside of here, um, there are two parts that you want to have. One of them is optional. What we can do is we can control what happens when we access diameter. So we're not going to use diameter like a regular variable. We're going to use it in a special kind of way. So here's what it looks like. I'm going to write it out and then I'm going to explain it. So we can say get return radius times 2 set self.radius is equal to new value divided by 2. And because of this, we can now delete get diameter and set diameter. Now that's going to give us an error down here, but let's just comment that out for now. So what I've done here is I've created diameter, which looks you know, the same as radius. It looks like a declaration just like radius. Um, but it's a little bit different. Instead of just storing a value, if I try to get the diameter, so if I say c dot diameter, for example, it will return radius times 2. So it'll take whatever radius is at that point, multiply it by 2, and then give you that result. So uh, that's very important. We're not changing diameter every time we change radius. We're computing it as we need it. We then have the set clause which will allow us to set the value. Now this is optional. You can write something, and we're going to write circumference. It doesn't really make sense to set the circumference of a circle. I suppose that you could if you happen to know a circumference off the top of your head, uh, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to have it only give back a value. But it makes sense to be able to set the diameter. So what we say is if we're trying to set the diameter, if we say like c dot diameter is equal to uh, 18, then it's going to set the radius equal to new value divided by 2. And new value is the name of the variable that contains the value. So that's automatically created by Swift, and that will contain, if I say c dot diameter is equal to 18, new value will be 18, and it'll set radius to be 9. Uh, so now instead of using get radius, or sorry, get diameter and set diameter, we can we can invoke it in the same way that we would do radius, and it just looks a lot cleaner, it looks a lot swiftier. Let's take a look at circumference, and let's declare this a little bit better. Circumference, uh, 
and this is going to of course be a double. Now if you only have your get clause and not your set clause, you don't need to write the word get. And we can simply write return 2.0 times 3.14 times self.radius. Again, this is a computed property, so that means that we don't store its value like a piece of data. When I say, you know, c dot circumference down here, it will take it will take whatever the radius is and then do this little math equation, multiply it by 2, multiply it by 3.14, and then that is the circumference that we'll get. And therefore we can delete the get circumference function. So we now have a swiftier looking piece of code. So let's uh, rewrite what we had above to make it look a little bit better. So we'll go ahead and do a circle with a radius of 4. Actually, let me see one thing. I believe... No, you can't. Okay. So, computed properties must be var. Okay. So, first of all, let's go ahead and print out c dot radius just like we did before. We can, of course, assign c dot radius to be 10. Uh, now, let's go ahead and print out the diameter. And I just want to kind of organize this a little bit better. So, let's try to print out the diameter. Instead of writing c dot get diameter, I write c dot diameter. And that looks really nice. That looks really swifty. If we look at the c dot radius above there and c dot diameter, it looks pretty much the same. And you really don't have any way of telling that there's anything special about diameter. It just looks like another property, another value, uh, but it's really computed based on whatever the radius is. We can say c dot diameter is equal to, uh, what do we say, 18. And when I do that, it'll automatically use the set clause, which will set the radius to be 9. Again, it looks just like a regular Swift call. No functions needed. Um, but it still works like a function. Finally, we can, of course, print the, the circumference, C dot circumference. Uh, but if we try to set the circumference, let's say that we try to set the circumference to be um, 56.52, because that's what we had before. You'll notice that it doesn't let me do that. It says you cannot assign to circumference in C. We didn't give the ability to assign to circumference. You only have the ability to get from it. So therefore, that line is invalid. I'm going to leave it there, but I'm going to comment it out. Um, so you can't set it because we didn't enable it to be set. And let's just quickly right here. This is um, old code, and this is new code. So we'll just keep those separate. So we can see now that when we print out the diameter, uh, it is able to compute the radius is 10. 10 plus 10 is indeed 20, uh, so the diameter is 20. And when I set the diameter to be 18, the radius is 9 because it applies our formula of dividing by 2. Of course, the circumference still works. It uh, goes ahead and does this formula using whatever the radius is. And we can assign it because we didn't have... Uh, we didn't g give the ability to do that. So that's all for this episode. We looked at properties and more specifically computed properties in Swift. They are a really powerful way to write code that still looks nice and it still looks Swifty. So as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button. And I'll see you guys soon with some more coding videos. Bye for now.